Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode two of the Orange Army Dugout. I'm your host for today, Isha, and today with us we have Niona from Mumbai Indians and Satish from the Orange Army. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. Hi, Isha. Hi, thank hi, you. Hi, hi, hi. So, how excited are you for the upcoming match, SRH versus Mumbai Indians, happening at the Orange Fortress in Uppal, Hyderabad? Satish, how how does it feel? Home uh, so game after our, an year. Yep, uh, it's a it's our first home game, so like I'm super excited for it. Though we ended up in ten place last season, but uh, you know I don't know why we have so much of. I mean, there's a lot of positivity and optimism around Orange Army. Uh, maybe it's because of the coming of uh, a World Cup winning captain Pat Cummins. So uh, there's a lot of positivity and optimism. So we are super excited for it and coming after an. uh coming from an excellent match i mean uh, against kkr so we are super positive about it i mean that's it yeah that match was really like it was a nail biting match it, that few overs in the last changed the game it's okay our team looks in good form do you know what do you think about the upcoming game with sunrisers i'm very excited we lost the last match but praying that the next match goes good and all of the negativity going around due to the captain change but we are still like positive as a family one family i think the because the things come up because rohit sharma has captain for a very long time yeah. and now hardik pandya there's a lot of controversy going on but we don't want to touch that aspect because no. i know as a yeah. mumbai indian fan you would support yeah. the team irrespective of the captain yeah exactly. so same with you satish how is like how do you think pat cummins uh, captaincy is going to be for tomorrow's home game uh so like you know it will be like a typical aussie mentality you know like they never give up or uh, till the end i mean see like uh when they are entering like if you notice like it, it, those those little moments i mean see uh when they are entering uh, pat cummins went on to each player and he cheered them up so like those small things make an impact so like uh, aussie mentality so that's what we are rooting i agree great so let's go into one prediction here who do you think will win the toss and what should they do if they win the toss niona um if mi wins the toss they should probably choose to field because mi is quite good in chasing and okay. um yeah and satish what do you think uh like if we win the toss like i hope srh chooses to bat first because you know like our strength is defending and hyderabad has a good batting pitch so last time in our opening match like uh, we kind of struggled chasing second i mean chasing so i prefer uh, batting first in hyderabad so i hope we bat first and defend this score i agree and do you have any score in mind like what would be an ideal score for us to give to the mumbai uh-huh. indians the on par score is uh, in hyderabad is around 180 so mm-hmm. i anything above 180 will be good let's and hope considering our bowling so it's yep that's great so and who do you think will be your playing 11 niona like based on the previous match now that we have an idea of who's in the team yeah. who do you think should be replaced or changed or what's your view on that Um, I feel uh, Naman can be replaced by Nihal Vadera. He performed really well the last season, and um, uh, Lockwood can be uh, replaced by Akash Madwal. He took a five wicket haul last year. So, okay, so you'd like to keep so, the yeah. team same, but with two changes. Same, yeah, and Devil Travis can get more chances. Like he can probably do both. instead of coming in an impact player okay then who should be your impact la- player in that case um probably um uh tim david can come in for batting and devil bravis can do the fielding okay perfect uh satish your prediction uh, so for like, the playing level i'd like to go with the same playing level because uh, it was a close match yeah tripathi played bit slow i mean 20 runs of 20 balls because like he was facing narayan most of the time who was bowling so good 
yeah. and we had a uh, bit i mean we expected more of i mean from samad but it didn't happen uh like if there's one change i want it to happen because like uh i need washi in the team because we were able to bowl only five overs in the match where kkr bowled 10 overs in the match i thought that was the changing moment in that match uh so if shabaz is uh leaking runs uh we need another good bowler who that will be washington so like i if needed if there's a change i need washington in the team and there's another exciting prospect who is nitish kumar reddy who is performing very well in the practice matches so i want him to see in the team but our team is fully stacked i mean everyone is perfect in their roles i don't know how management the, uh, make this change but yeah, playing same playing level if not bring washi or nitish kumar reddy into the team i agree because we have that thing about him being a hyderabadi and nitish reddy everybody wants to see him play i think he will definitely get a chance throughout the season but for this match yep. like you said if at all we get washi in place of uh, maybe samad i think that will that will be a good change and good addition to the bowling as yep. well uh, shabaz did the role which samad has to do i mean he strike the ball super well i mean uh, though his innings was innings was small but the impact he created was huge i mean he got us nearly uh, nearer to the win uh, i'm sad that we couldn't close that up but Yeah, Shabal did an amazing, uh, amazing performance in the last game. Yeah, he was almost in tears when he yep. we couldn't make it. <laughs> yeah. So, and Niona, who do you think will be your star player from MI tomorrow? Be it in the bowling or batting. I personally wish because Ishan Kishan is my favorite. I really wish that he plays well. But uh, obviously, Rohit Sharma. Uh, in, in fact it was a good book. knock by rohit sharma in the previous yeah, match yeah, 43 if i'm good. not wrong yeah yeah so and satish star player for you i think bhuneshwar kumar bhuneshwar kumar has taken as a early wickets i mean first ball wickets and first over wickets a lot in hyderabad so i'm expecting another first ball first over wicket from bhuvaneshwar yeah he went little bit expensive in the last over uh, i mean in the last match uh, in the second spell uh, i hope he comes back from that but his first spell was super good so i'm hoping he does that again okay now we are done with the technical part of the game so let's dive into some fun so why don't you share one of your best memories with the team or as a fan what was that one memorable moment you had <laughs> satish i'm like i'm not going to say much i'll just show it to you yeah what's your back story come on satish uh so like i've been a fan of sunrise for since its inception uh we've been running the fan club from past 8 years i guess i don't even remember the year so like this is the first time i got to meet players up so close i mean i want to thank management for doing this uh, they invited us for the auction sadly i couldn't go because i don't have the passport <laughs> uh, don't worry we covered thing, for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> second thing they uh, called us for the anthem and gave this amazing jersey and third they called us for the fan meet i mean so like this, i mean if you want me if you ask me like ask me that uh, you know the best a moment i mean i i'd say this getting aiden markram signed back so i'm super happy for this i am glad you are happy because even i was a part of it but i'll have let you have your moment <laughs> yeah <laughs> so neona what's your memorable moment as a fan oh map so many i got a signed back from the women's team then i did an mi live show last year which was very good then um, i went to see a match and where the mumbai indians teams was really interactive with the crowd like whenever you call them they would happily wave back to you and that was really good i think we all as fans keep on yeah. waving and we wait for that one moment that's really yeah. good by the mi team yeah. then <laughs> Oh that's great. Very good. That's nice. So next up we have a rapid fire. So I randomly say words and you have to just say whatever pops in your mind first. So 
uh, five trophies. And then... Mumbai. <laughs> or CSK, but you'd say MI. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and uh, next, um, food? Mumbai. Vada Pao. Biryani. Okay, IPL 2024. Sunrises. <laughs> okay, so IPL 2024 title, Sunrises, Hyderabad. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Jersey? Um, Best Jersey of Sunrises. RCV, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. They have a different it, jersey this year. Yeah, I think until last year, I also really liked their jersey, but the change in color, there's so yeah, much too many blue. Colors. Right? Now there's yeah. like too many so colors. much blue. Yeah, blue Red, is there blue in every. Mm. I think four or five franchises have the blue now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and. Uh, and lastly, let's talk about like what's your message to the fans or management or any dialogue, anything you want to share uh, share to the viewers, anything. New enough, please go ahead. Okay. So I, I, I always say that like let it be the captain chain, let it be the team change. I'll always be an MI fan. Like since childhood, I live in Mumbai and I obviously support MI since I was a child so i'll always support mi uh, that's great so you're a typical mumbai kar <laughs> yeah <laughs> and satish uh to the management first thank you for so uh, thank you so much for doing all these events for us and engaging with the fans and for the fans i mean keep on supporting like we have a very good strong team this season and uh, we'll go for the playoffs definitely for sure and anything about that uh, it's our luck i mean depends on the luck so Let's hope for the best. Okay, great. And if you were to pick four teams who would qualify for the playoffs this year, and of course, every you would say Sunrisers, you would say Mumbai. What are the other three teams that you would like to face in the playoffs? Um, can I? Go? I want to face KKR. Uh, uh, we have I'm to really give it back. That, yeah, I'm. I am really sad that you know, like we don't have an home fixture against KKR after what happened in the last match. Uh, okay. So I want to face KKR in qualifiers one. Okay. <laughs> and the other two teams? Uh, other two teams will might be uh, MI. MI might qualify. They have a strong team this season. And uh, I think it's either Rajasthan or CSK. I mean, I'm watching CSK game now. I mean, they are so good. They might qualify again. Okay, that's nice. And also today, when like, of course, Mumbai is already here. The Mumbai players are here in Hyderabad, and I we saw the picture circulating where uh, Rohit Sharma is giving back, and Mayank Agarwal is standing. Mayank Agarwal, yeah. I really love the pun intended there by Rohit Sharma. I really like that. <laughs> so, Diona, like, what's your yeah. other three plate? Teams. Um, probably CSK. Mm -hmm. They are really strong. Then um, GT and uh, RCB. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you don't think SRH would make it to the playoffs? <laughs> I I mean, they can make it to the playoffs, but usually these are the popular matches: MI, CSK, RCB. Okay, let's be the underdog, Satish. We will yep. slowly come up. 2016 season. <laughs> we were the underdogs and we went on to winning the cup in 2016. Yeah, let's see how that goes. But I hope we have a great match tomorrow because uh, it's in the home ground and it is versus Mumbai Indians, the five times uh, IPL uh, champions. So it's going to be a really fun, exciting, nail-biting match. We'll see how it goes tomorrow live from the stadium so hope you guys enjoyed this podcast today and we'll be back again uh, with another for the next match and thank you Satish and Yona for joining and thank, thank you guys for thank watching you. thank you, thank you please uh, like share subscribe comment do everything you can see you let's have a great game guys thank you bye bye bye, -bye.